the State Television Company Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Jean Tirat Duryan passed away. Commemoration ceremony in Yerevan in memory of the victims of the genocide against Armenians. Terrilian also saved 200 orphans during the genocide. Azerbaijanis in the Voskepar village. The Hamid regiment denial of genocide. The 25th number of Western Armenian magazine has been published. The sculpture of Sharlan Znavur, Makartich Mazmanian. With regret, we inform you that in 2024, on April, a devoted citizen of the Republic of Western Armenia, Jean Tiraturian, passed away. Mr. Tiraturian received the citizenship of the Republic of Western Armenia in 2018 on December 16. Jean Tiraturian always took an active part in all the meetings of the Ron L. section of the Assembly of Armenians of Western Armenia. The Presidency, Government and Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia joined to the condolence of the National Council of Western Armenia. May his memory be eternal. On April 27, in the area of the Tizernak Albert Memorial Complex, the commemoration ceremony was held on the victims of the genocide against the Armenians, which is organized every year by the government of Western Armenia. The event was attended by the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamian, Chairwoman of the Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, Nelly Harutsunyan, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia, Vartan Simonian, and Member of Parliaments of the National Assembly and Citizens of Western Armenia. According to tradition, the commemoration ceremony began with the anthem of Western Armenia, performed by singer, songwriter, poet Arsen Hambarian, chairwoman of the Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, Nelly Hayatunyan, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia, Vartan Simonian, had a speech. According to tradition, the commemoration ceremony began with the anthem of Western Armenia, performed by singer, songwriter, poet Arsen Hambarian. Descendants of Solomon Terrilian's uncle's family handed over the photos and the diary kept for years, which tells interesting episodes about Solomon's life. Although we have not studied the diary in its entirety as far as we have managed to observe, there are still interesting episodes. Of course, there will also be such personal information that will not be published, said in a conversation with journalist Gohar Hanumian, the chief fund keeper of the Genocide Museum Institute, that she made contact with Terrilian's relatives and it it is due to her that those valuable samples has reached Armenia. About a dozen new photographs of Terrigan have been set in Museum Institute, the most remarkable of which is the one taken in 1907. Solomon is 12, 13 years old there. The most valuable is the photo where there is also Armen Nuhi, a member of Terrigan's family, whom Solomon freed from Muslim captivity in exchange for one gold. One of the career episodes of Terrigan's biography, which, by the way, is less covered than presented to the public, is that the Armenian Avenger read Armenian children from captivity or dealt with the fate of orphans. The story about Armenui is the proof of this. In another of he, her memoirs, Terrilian writes that he was able to help about 200 children and due to this orphan rescue activity, he was a friend of Sebastati Murad and we know that it was Murad who convinced the Muslim to give one piece of gold and receive one orphaned child in return, said Gohar Hanumian. Residents of Voskepar said that Azerbaijanis appeared near the church of Voskepar. The villagers stated that Azerbaijanis were there, they planned some activities and they cut trees. One of the reasons for the villagers' concern is that the border guard troops of Baku are border guards only in name, but in reality they are Azerbaijan army with the same military equipment, just in different clothes. At any moment, the so-called border guard Azerbaijanis, from a much better position and with a better status, can launch an attack and in a matter of minutes any settlement will come under their control. Also, some news platforms write that they have received information that the Azerbaijanis have advanced in the Voskepar sector. Western Armenia TV is trying to verify this information. Mario Hovanisian, Executive Director of the International Foundation for Research and Development, Zorian Institute in Eastern Armenia, writes that the study of genocide is not only the presentation, analysis, and the evaluation of past events, it has another mission, in my opinion, more urgent to prevent genocide in the future. The study of past events should aim to make the present more prosperous and peaceful and the future more stable and secure. 
the struggle against the denial of genocide has not only the mission of restoring moral, political, legal, and historical justice, but also primarily aims to prevent crimes against humanity. Because denial has always been one of the key components of the plans that develops and implements genocide. That said, the criminals who are preparing genocide think and plan in advance the denial of the crimes to be committed, which will ensure their impunity. Therefore, the comprehensive and multifaceted study of the region's mechanisms and manifestations of the denial of genocide and uncovering of still unknown details will provide an opportunity to have a more systematic and targeted counter influence to the claims and actions taken by those who have adopted the policy of denial or are actively involved in it for some reason, thus contributing to wider recognition of the crimes committed against humanity and prevention of their possible repetition in the future. In this sense, the Turkish denial policy with its continuity and prevalence has become a symbol of impunity and an example for others. Thus, for example, according to genocide scholar Helen Fine, the genocide committed against the Armenians was not only a precedent for what can be done during the Second World War. It was also an example of what could be done with impunity. Adolf Hitler's famous rhetorical question addressed to his officers is a vivid example of the above. Who remembers the extermination of Armenians after all this? The 25 number of Western Armenia magazine has been published. In the new number, there are articles dedicated to the perception of public order in Western Armenia, the structure of Armenian identity in the world, information influence activities. In the 25th number of the Western Armenian magazine, you can be informed with the Armenocide section, which summarizes the chronology of the genocide against Armenians. The new number of the magazine is dedicated to the 42nd anniversary of the Maraga pogroms. 42 years ago, massacres against Armenians in Maraga city of Artsakh became another part of Baku's ethnic cleansing policy. More than 50 civilians were brutally killed, as many were captured, and the rest of the Armenian population, about 5,000 people, was forcibly displaced. The sculptor Mokertij Mazmanyan presented the world-famous chansonnier Charles Aznavour in a new way through his sculptures. He turned not only Aznavour's eloquent face and artistry in the sculpture, but also his wonderful music, which has excited Mazmanyan for years. The opening ceremony of the exhibition, dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the sculpture Aznavour, took place on April 26 in the Two Arcs Exhibition Hall. Face sculptures of Aznavour compositional work and drawings are presented. The works are not direct reproductions of Aznavur, but are emotional images, attitudes, and tributes to the great chansonnier. Makartic Mazmanyan did not think about having a collection dedicated to Aznavur. Everything was done automatically. The author admits that he does what comes from his heart. He believes that the artist should get out of the academic style and give himself to creative freedom, move with the times. Probably as a result of that way of thinking, the sculpture has created amazing works that give reason to think. Let's remind that Makartic Mazmanyan is one of the famous figurative sculptures of Armenia. The artist's works reflect human ambition, awakening and evolution. Mazmanyan's unique style of sculpturing was formed from the fusion of many cultures and artistic styles, although he learned and was almost inspired by nature and people. Most of Mazmanyan's work are dedicated to humans in all its beauty. This was all for today. Goodbye.